Welcome to our tutorial about data types. First, let's talk about some good news. VBA can actually automatically manage all the details involved in handling data, which is not the case with some programming languages. Data type refers to how data is stored in memory. It can be stored as integers, real numbers, strings, and so on. However, even though VBA lets you avoid explicitly declaring your variables as a particular data type, the downside is that the execution can be slower and the memory use less efficient. While this shouldn't be a big deal for you most of the time, since chances are you won't be writing or using big and complex programs. However, Another reason to explicitly declare your variables as a particular data type is this. VBA can perform some additional error checks for you. This saves you the time and hassle of error checking some problems which may be extremely difficult to locate. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at a few examples of data types. Let's begin with a byte, or 8 bits. It has a value range from 0 to 255. Basically, this data type is useful for containing binary data. Our next data type is called the Boolean data type. It's stored as 2 bytes, or a 16-bit number, but the value can be only true or false. Both these values, true and false, are what's called reserved words in VBA so they can't be used for any other purposes. When another numeric data type converts to the Boolean data type, the value 0 becomes false and all other values become true. When Boolean values convert to another data type, false becomes 0 and true becomes minus 1. The third data type we'll be looking at is the integer data type. These are numbers that range from minus 32,768 to 32,767. The next data type is long. It stores as single 4 bytes or 32 bits. The numbers range from approximately negative 2 billion to positive 2 billion. The next data type I'll be looking at is the single data type. Its values range from approximately minus 3.4 to the power of 38 to 3.4 to the power of 38. This is what's called a floating point number. The next data type is double. This is basically a larger version of single. Values range from minus 1.790 to the power of 308 up to 1.790 to the power of 308. It's stored as 8 bytes, or a 64-bit number. This is also a floating-point number. We'll be covering floating-point numbers in greater detail later in this course. Let's take a look at the date data type now. It's also stored as an 8-byte number. The date data type represents dates ranging from January 1st, the year 100, to December 31st, the year 9999. The date data type also represents the time midnight 00000 or 235959. The next is the object data type. This stores addresses that refer to objects. Four bytes are used. The string data type can be a variable length string containing up to 2 billion characters. The fixed length string can contain up to 65,400 characters. The currency data type is also represented by some pretty big numbers, from approximately minus 922 trillion to positive 922 trillion. It can use 15 digits to the left of the decimal point and 4 digits to the right of the decimal point, as you see in my examples here. The currency data type is useful for calculating data involving currency and also for fixed point calculations. There are other data types, 
but we've given you an introduction to the principal ones in this tutorial. Generally, it's a good idea to use data types that contain a smaller number of bytes. That's because from VBA's point of view, the execution speed is basically a matter of how many bytes it has at its disposal. In other words, the fewer the bytes the data itself takes up, the faster VBA will be able to access and manipulate your data. And this concludes our tutorial about data types.